Okay, anybody watch the Super Bowl a couple weeks ago? Right? And of course, who won? Okay, I'm originally from Wisconsin, and I've been a Packer fan since I was three years old, so I was pretty happy to see them winning. How do you think they won the Super Bowl this year? Defense? Okay. Any other theories? No Packer fans here? Okay. They were consistent. Okay. Because the other team wasn't. Well, maybe I should say, why did Dallas lose so much this year? <laughs> Is that better? Okay. Fundamentals. Excellent. Fundamentals. Uh, who was a famous coach for Green Bay? Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi. What did he say about fundamentals? Fundamentals win it. To be excellent, you have to be a master, you have mastery of the fundamentals. During the second season, when Vince Lombardi was a coach of Green Bay Packers, they had a session where they were losing like five straight games. Now, when he did his opening camps, he always concentrated on the fund fundamentals, worked on teaching that. We well, saw in the middle of the season that they were falling apart. And he said, gentlemen, you're losing all the fundamentals. We need to go back to the fundamentals. So he said, gentlemen, this is a football. That's how he started, back to the fundamentals. We need to do the same thing in lean, concentrate on the fundamentals. What are the fundamentals of lean? What are some fundamental, fundamentals? Eliminate, eliminate waste. waste. Continuous improvement to eliminate waste, absolutely. One of the basic fundamentals. Standard work. Standard work is very good. Uh, decrease variability. Standard work is one of the key basic elements of lean. That's what we want to concentrate on. That's why we're also going to talk about standard work for leaders. It's one of the basic elements. So whenever we're talking about lean, always go back and focus on the fundamentals and the basics. So when we look in the fundamentals of our lean management system and leader standard work, one of the questions I want to ask is, how did you learn to be a leader? Think back in your career. How did you learn to be a leader? How did you learn? Uh, I had a mentor that uh, helped me learn the ropes. And who was the mentor? Uh, he was my leader. Your, your boss. Okay. Absolutely. How many people here learn from their boss? Okay. I would say that's the majority of people here. That's how most of us learn. We see the example, okay, from our bosses. How do we learn today to be a leader? Same way, except I'd venture to say we don't have as much mentoring as we had years ago. And we'd like to change that in lean. It's one of the elements we want to look at. So let's look at how we learn to be a leader. And what was the style of leadership? Go back 20 years ago. Dictatorship. Dictatorship. Go back to Vince Lombardi. What kind of leader was Vince Lombardi? Very much so. He was a yeller. He got in people's faces. And that's how people have the impression that he was a strong type leader. But that was his style. There's other styles that work just as well. This is not about how to change your style, because actually all styles work in lean. But one of the things you have to learn is just like in Vince Lombardi, did he yell at everybody? No. I was reading a book about his coaching skills, and he actually learned that some players, like Paul Horning, he could yell at, motivate them, get the most from them on the field. People like Bart Starr and Max McGee, he yelled at them, they'd shut down. So he tried to learn where he can yell and where he can not yell, who to yell at, who not to yell at. So one of the things you learn is you need to change your style to what's needed in the situation and to the person involved. So this is not about your style. We'll talk about that a little bit, but it's about what you do in order to get the most out of your people. It's one of the elements of what you want to do. Now, if we look at the book, Toyota Way, Principle 9 states, grow leaders who thoroughly understand the work, live the philosophy, and teach it to others. So reading that statement, what is your role as a lean leader? I'll give you a hint. Okay. So read that again. Grow leaders who thoroughly understand the work. So that's one of the things that we need to do as a lean leader. We need to live the philosophy and we need to teach it to others. That's part of our responsibility of a, as a lean leader. Okay, does everybody agree? Okay, good. Also, what do we need to do as a leader? First thing is get things done. We've got to get results, right? 
Results are important, even in a lean world. We also need to get the most from our team, right? Just like the Green Bay Packers got the most of their team. If you think back to the Green Bay Packers this past season, they lost 15 of their players to injuries. They lost three in the Super Bowl. And yet they still won because they got the most of everybody. And one of the quotes that will stay in there is, we need to have a team of 53 people, not 11 on the field. So one of the keys I think that they won is that they actually believed that they needed every person on the roster, all 53 people, to contribute. We need to take that same philosophy in Lean is we need to have every single person in our facilities contribute to Lean. Not just the Lean group, not just the management group, every single person on our team needs to contribute. So we have to set up a system to do that. And then we need to develop people to be leaders. Now typically what I see, and you can see if this is true within your facilities, we do a great job on number one. We get results. How are we at number two and number three? How are we at actually getting the most from our team or developing people as leaders? Okay. Well, I think if you look at this, start at the bottom. Let's concentrate on developing people's leaders. If we did that, then we'd get the most from our team. If we did that, we'd get things done. That's actually the path of how I think from a lean point of view we can approach it. So don't look at it as this checklist, get things done, and then go down. Start from the bottom, work your way up. That's how we would like to approach it. Now, one of the things I've learned about Lean is I can tell you what we did at Batesville Casket. I can tell you what we did at Hillrom. I can tell you what I learned Toyota does things. I can tell you at other facilities. It's very good to benchmark, but one of the things I've learned is you have to find your own path. Now, I'm going to tell you for about an hour and a half about leader standard work and what it means to be a Lean leader. But one of the things you have to understand is you have to find your path to do this. It's just like swimming. I can show you a video on swimming, I can tell you the techniques about swimming, I can bring Olympic gold medalists to tell you about swimming, and then I make you sign a form at the end of the training session that you're officially certified and trained in swimming, and you can go out this door and start swimming. True or false? False. Why? You gotta do it, okay? I can teach everything except experience. You have to go out and get your own experience. That's where you're gonna learn. That's where you're gonna develop. Now, one of the things I've also learned in my processes here, as you start developing the Toyota production system where you develop a lean system within your facility, you have a different production system, okay? You're running your business differently. In order to make that work, you have to have a different leadership, different management system. If you don't, it's gonna fall apart. If you manage the same way, with the same meetings, the same results, same metrics, you're gonna get the same behaviors same results, same beliefs. So unless you change your man management system, uh, you will fail at lean. That's why this is really, really important. So when we talk about a lean management system, separate from the tools of a production system, we're talking about your discipline, your daily practices, the tools that you put in place to maintain constant, intense focus on the process. And the key point is here, we need to focus on the process. Do we have a system set up where as managers and leaders we're focusing on the process? I have a couple things that I can show you today that will help you do that. And hopefully you'll reflect upon your processes to see how often I'm actually looking at the process itself. Or am I just going through motions?